Hey guys, today we're going to talk about uh, misleading facts in the media and I've talked about this a little bit but I haven't gone in depth with it and I actually have a couple of uh, anecdotes and actual statistics that I want to use as examples so I think it'll be a little bit better. I uh, parted my hair to the side today to show the difference since a lot of people don't really know and I feel like I don't like it very much because unless I poof this part up and like do a little back combing here from one side it looks like I'm almost balding because most of my hair is on the other side and that's why I got kind of sick of it and yeah I agree usually when I wear my hair uh, my part in the middle I don't really like it that much after a while but once I do it after having my hair parted to the side for a long time it becomes kind of like a a refreshing look for me and I kind of like it. And I know most models part in the middle and then curl their hair and stuff but curling my hair takes so much uh, time and effort and it ruins my hair a little bit and I'm trying to grow it um, longer so yeah I have naturally straight hair most girls don't which is also another aspect but anyway let's not talk about my hair let's talk about these misleading facts. First I'm wearing my blazer this is my my casual school blazer and I brought I bought it at first when I uh, was doing um, on on-site interviews like professional interviews for Zoom and Games and I also bought it for casting. My mom actually bought it for me because I told her I was getting into casting and she was super happy that I was following my dreams um, as of uh, being a StarCraft caster so she bought this for me and I cast it on my uh, my Twitch channel once or twice and then I used it at uh, E3 when I was with Zoom and Games. But anyway, um, I haven't worn it in a while and I like the way it looks. I kind of like the square shoulder look occasionally even though it can kind of make me look a little bit broader than I am it looks fine on a girl who isn't already broad and I'm not so it looks good um so what I'm talking about is I really hate how media misleads you or gives you a very condensed um just really quick idea of a certain topic and then just lets you interpret it your own way and I hate the fact that so many people uh, when they watch something in the media they take it like wholeheartedly as fact like even when it's something that is a bit more reputable like let's say CNN or something you shouldn't take everything that they say as fact and you shouldn't like misread it basically all you should learn about from news is what you're more interested in learning more about if that makes any sense like if you hear for instance the uh, statistic I'm gonna use now I heard something like this I don't think this is the exact exact statistic or the exact percentage on the statistic this is just paraphrasing on my part but there was something like uh, 75 or more percent of accidents happen within five miles of your home now you can you can like take this a hundred different ways right you can say oh my god around my home I must drive worse oh my god, around my home it must be more dangerous, or oh my god, I spend more time around my home, so of course most of the accidents are going to be around my home. Most people don't stray like 50 miles away from their houses, but a lot of people will just take that as meaning one specific thing. They'll be like, oh, well, going this 80 mile journey is not going to be dangerous to me because it's farther than five miles away from my house, and that might be a shallower view and just kind of a, a simpler view of what actually happens in society, but society just takes every single thing that they hear on the news as fact and it drives me fucking insane. And like, even if that was a solid fact, what they're saying, like, what are the variables? I want to know exactly how this was researched, who researched it, how much money was put into it, are there, you know, like the constants in there that make it so that the variables, when they change, it makes sense scientifically. It's just like, I feel like a lot of the statistics out there and a lot of the facts out there in the news are either biased by whatever company is promoting them or they, the science behind it is biased and basically news is just trying to catch you in and get ratings and stuff anyway, so it's not like it's going to be actually true. Now, I hate news for doing that, but what I hate more is how people take it and how stupid it seems like people are. I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but it seems like the majority of people in the world today are really stupid because they don't think outside the box. They don't keep an open mind. They just hear something and then they relay it. And if you have ever in grade school played the game uh, Telephone, I think in other countries it has a different name, but uh, basically you sit in a circle with a bunch of kids and um, you whisper something to the next kid and they whisper that to the next kid and the next kid and the next kid and the next kid. And by the time you get to the end of the line, it comes out as some completely different thing because it was relayed and people misheard it or people embellished it or people changed it a little bit or paraphrased. And that happens a lot in society too. Like you hear, you know, Osama bin Laden is still alive. And then the next person is like, Osama bin Laden killed 50 people and he's still alive. And then the next one is like, Osama bin Laden killed 5,000 people and then shot himself in the head and now he's dead. And it's like, what the fuck? You, that's not fact at all and it's so brief, it's too brief to actually hold any truth and it's so easily misconstrued as something else, it's like ridiculous and a lot of people 
will just take things as fact and then spread them around and they're spreading idiocy basically and ignorance and it's just awful. And uh, so that's something that has always bothered me, that it was very apparent to me that I shouldn't take any statistic as a fact just by hearing the statistic. I might think, oh, that's an interesting concept, now let me, you know, apply logic to that and, you know, my rationale and then let's, like, do more research into this actual statistic. Where did they get it from? What foundation did this? If, like, something like the meat industry makes a statistic that, you know, it's better for the world that we eat meat because yada yada, that could be completely false and looked at in a specific targeted way to make it seem that way. And in the same rung of, you know, media kind of betrayal, I guess I would say, you can take a statement that is 100% true and and say, use words and phrase it in such a way that makes people think a certain way instead of actually being unbiased about it. Like, you can be like, okay, so let's take a fact, any fact. Um, this softbox is very bright, okay? So the softbox is bright. Um, I guess that's kind of a, like an opinion because Jay would say this softbox is like burning his eyes and I'm like completely used to it. So uh, let's say this softbox is rectangular. Some people will say, like, it is an appealing shape. Other people will say, it is the shape of the devil. Let's say it's a pentagram or something. And you just, like, the, I, it's a bad example. I can't think of a good example right now. And I'm trying to keep my uh, videos a little bit more brief because I've heard people are having problems with listening to the whole thing or me getting sidetracked and stuff. And I don't know how true that is. I feel like a majority of people do... Uh, do other things whether they listen to me or they're watching and they're fine with listening to you know 15 minutes of boobs rather than seven minutes of boobs or you know other people have a time allotted to watch YouTube or other people I'm their favorite YouTuber so it doesn't take up that much time I don't know what's going on but um if I had more time to actually think of a better uh, instance I would but you know you can just manipulate words and say things with such intention that it makes people think a certain thing and I feel like everyone needs to keep an open mind and actually analyze the words that they hear uh, rather than just taking everything at the way the person that's giving to them you know wants you to take it right and uh, I learned that from a really young age like my parents um, taught me not to just listen to anything that everyone says and to question everything and to actually uh, make my own decisions based on my own rationale, my own moral compass and everything like that. So it's helped me a lot to uh, grow up in that mindset where it's not just like I was told to follow this religion and this is a fact and I never was allowed to question it or think about it or uh, someone who is more into just watching the news all the time and then like relaying it to their friends and being like, oh, this is that and this is that, oh my God, the state of affairs, oh my God, we know exactly about everything. And then people who do that, people who relay the information are often people who act like they're know-it-alls and they think they know something when really they're just hearing it from like a third party or a middleman and it just, it's not based in fact, it's based in whatever sells at the time and however it was constructed to sound and that just kind of sucks so I appreciate people who think about things analytically and uh, delve deeper into things rather than just you know filling their head with useless nonsense and that's why I opt out of even listening to the news like I know some of the topical situations that are going on um, so that you know because it's just all over Facebook and social networking is just that kind of thing um, and I've never been one to post like links and then have like a strong opinion on you know, social networks or posts, like, I think it's also a little silly to, like, sit there and post quotes. Um, I see, like, most hot girls, when they post a picture of themselves, it's just, like, a hot, sexy picture. They post, like, a quote that they think is romantic or something. And I've always thought that was kind of silly. I, myself, don't just say, you know, like, here is my tits or, oh, my God, I like this new shirt. And then just, like, blatantly, you know, gratuitously show my tits or whatever. Um, I make it clear that that's what I'm trying to do, but I also like to talk about other things like, here's a picture of my nice tits. Also, I have a new video coming up today, and I think that's perfectly fine. I have nothing wrong with that, but I feel like it's a little funny uh, the ways that people think they're deep in society today. Like, I will, if I'm quoting something, I will actually say where it's quoted from and say that I like it and say why I like it or something like if I'm quoting like sn Slipknot lyrics or something. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, I have a cool topic for tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. It's about the healing powers of sex, and I want to discuss uh, how sex makes me feel and why it's different from masturbation or just working out or whatever. Um, so, yeah, uh, I really appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'm going to probably post a poll about whether or not you guys like the uh, more personal vlogs where I'm holding the camera and I'm laying down on the floor, because I can do that with this camera, and it'll be just higher quality, and I'll probably have to zoom out a little bit, but I think it'll work out, I think, right? Yeah? All right. 
I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm off to play uh, Life is Strange and some League of Legends and maybe some CSGO, which everyone has been asking me about. Uh, yeah. Guys, don't forget to check out my gaming channel because um, yesterday I posted my 20 games from my childhood and I want to hear down in the comments what your 20 games from your childhood are. I know a lot of you are gamers and I also want you to check out the content just to see if the content that I'm making now is more favorable than before where it was just gameplay. Like, this isn't gameplay. This is like snippets of gameplay with me full screen talking about my opinions on games and I think that'll be more favorable for you guys as well. So, bye guys! Thank you! Hey guys, if you're enjoying my free content and you want to keep my content flowing, please consider supporting my Patreon campaign. Pledge a couple dollars in support of my YouTube and live stream, and get some cool exclusive content while you're helping me reach my goals. Link is down in the description. Thank you! Anything helps. Hey there, vlog and fan service lovers. I just wanted to let you guys know that I now have a serious upload schedule. Every day is going to be normal update and topic vlogs, except... Wednesdays are going to be interchangeably Tara Reads Comments and Sex Ed with Tara. So that means every other Wednesday is Tara Reads Comments and every other Wednesday is Sex Ed with Tara. And every other Friday is going to be Friday Night Mail or Fan Service Fridays. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as my gaming YouTube at youtube.com slash games. And if you want to watch my gameplay live, don't forget to check out tarababcock.tv or twitch.tv slash Subscribe and don't forget to smile. Bye guys.